Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we're going to be looking at the Halo 3 drone, or the bugger, or Yan Mei, or Yan Mi, or whatever you call it. Uh, the things that fly around and are incredibly annoying in ODST. That's what this guy is right here, made by McFarlane as part of the Halo 3 line. Okay, so he stands, depending on how you pose him, of course, but at his tallest, just about, he stands about five and a half inches tall, so he's got some pretty good size to him. Uh, it's indicative of how big they actually are, even though they seem small in the game. They're actually not. He does come with a base, Halo 3 base, which is cool, except for the fact that if you're trying to do a display, you may not want the big Halo 3, so you want a standard base, just a plain old black or clear base, which would have been cool, but it does have two pegs on it, and he has peg holes in each of his feet, one larger than the other, so you know which way to put him on the base. One peg hole or peg is bigger than the other. He also comes with a plasma pistol, which is incredibly hard for him to hold, but it is detailed really nicely, sculpt and paint-wise. A little bit of sticky tech in his palm, and he'll be able to hold it a little bit easier. But he can hold it if you wedge it in there. Sometimes they have more trouble than others. As far as the paint goes, this guy's done really well. He's got great texturing, and the paint accentuates that. This pearlescent green for all of the body panels, if you want to call them that, mixed with the glossy black. Well, it's actually a really dark green. Looks really good. The wings are translucent blue with the veins painted on there. So this guy looks great. He is extremely brittle, so be super careful with him. Pose him as little as possible, I would say. Uh, but he is a great figure. As, as you can see, the eyes are painted really well also. The sculpt is good. As far as articulation goes, the head itself is on a ball joint, but it gets stuck easily, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. This part of the head is also on a ball joint. Again, very brittle, so be careful. These things are on ball joints here, so those are poseable. Spin them around, do whatever you want with them. The wings are all on ball joints. Again, they're also very brittle, so be very careful with this guy. Everything that moves is easily broken. This tail segment swivels. These things do not have any articulation in them, just the whole thing itself swivels. The arms are on ball hinges. Again, the swivel is very risky, so be careful with that. The hinge is okay, though, usually. There's a swivel at the bicep and a hinge, and then the wrists have a swivel again that is even that's probably the most fragile part of the whole figure so be very careful with that uh, the torso has an independent swivel I don't I mean it's technically probably a ball joint but you don't get anything out of it other than the swivel so you have that then the hips are on old school ball joints this part also swivels so this guy's loaded with articulation it's just all very very fragile single jointed knees the ankles are the same joint that you'll see in the Reach or the Halo 4 uh, Spartan figures. It swivels at the top and at the bottom and has a hinge. So he's got loads and loads of articulation. He's just super duper easy to break. So be very careful with that and you shouldn't have too much trouble. But either way, it's a very cool figure and since it's the only time they made him, I do think you should probably go pick him up even if it costs a little bit because he looks great and he's a great display piece. So, there it is guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff, and in the meantime, keep collecting.